Hello, hello, hello. And today we are here with the lovely people at Inspiration Marine to have a look at this Fjord 38 Open. Just gonna have a quick wander up the side. So this guy who owns this boat, this is an owner's boat, has actually had the hull painted in this beautiful sort of metallic fleck paintwork. What a beautiful boat. A lot of purpose to it, this boat, look at that. So, before too much longer, let's go and have a look on board. So we're lucky, it's a lovely sunny day, but this is a UK based boat as I say, and you can weirdly, this has Volvo Penta D4320 inboard engines on outdrive legs, but you can if you want to spec this boat from new with a set of outboards, twin outboards of your choice. The first thing you can see is there's a nice little rubber fender around the outside and there's a couple of pegs in here for your swim ladder. That takes you onto this vast bathing platform. You have got sea gates on both sides so you can lock or shut the children and the dogs in if you want to. And then you have a sweep of side deck that takes you all the way around forwards and aft. And then this rather fantastic dining area here. Now this is multi-purpose, this does lots of things. To start with, I'm not gonna fiddle with it because they have laid it up, but both of these leaves on both sides, you can see there, will fold into the center. That is a hydraulic high-low table, so that table will go up and down for dining or coffee table. It'll also drop right the way down with infill cushions to make this a vast sunbathing area. Because these seats at the back, as you can see here using this mechanism, can fold flat down that way or fold forward so they become our facing seats. These seats can do exactly the same. So you can pop them back this way so they become a forward facing seat. In fact, let's just show you what one of them looks like. So there you go, that's a halfway position where you can have a forward bolster when you're going along or you can equally lift it up and put it all the way down like that and then fill this entire area with cushions with those seats folded down and that gives you as you can imagine just the most vast sun lounger I'll just pop that back up so you also got down here two drawer fridges one there and one there and there's a second fridge in here, more conventional style fridge, but again a drawer fridge which is really nice. There's, just pop those back out there, oops. It's a bit windy today. Little sink underneath there. Pop those back for them. And then under here is just a little bit of extra storage, like so. Brilliant on these fjords, and this is a feature of all of these versions, is these square fenders that neatly fit in this square box and then just pop over the sides when you need them. And because you've got this truly fantastic rail that runs the whole length of the boat, grab handle, but it's inset, it's really nice. Pop-up cleats so they're there when you need them. This current owner's had rod holders fitted, but not because he wants to go fishing, because it's a great place to put your barbecue and you have all your fat dripping off over the side. The other thing which is nice about these boats is you get this fantastic extended sun awning at the back. That's obviously built into this rather sturdy looking T-top which then has glass inserts in it as well to let the light through. But really, really chunky looking T-top there. That is moulded into a forward screen so you do get a bit of permanent wind protection as you're going along. A couple of fjord drivers and navigator seats with the pop-up bolsters and then it's really nice helm position so great place to stand if you want to there's a footrest there if you want to sit down throttle controllers there the I, the joystick controller for the out drives bow thruster two Garmin screens anchor chain counter there as well fusion stereo and a wireless phone charger so that is your dash set up. Really practical, really functional. And then down here we have access to the forward cabin. I say forward cabin, it's the only cabin here. Couple of steps in. 
takes you right the way forward and you can see down here we've got this decent sized berth that goes right under the forward deck area but it's quite a wide berth to be fair and it's quite long a little bit of storage over there some nice stylized lights a couple of power sockets a bit of extra storage in under there with the in some of the infill cushions and then we also have another fridge down here and this owner's put in a little oven down in here nice that there's some ventilation here if the doors shut so both of these windows pop open and then behind us we have the second or the fusion master system battery switch gear and a like down there and obviously the Webasto controller and the last thing down here is the heads very nice and stylish with a inset teak floor little Corian style sink here inset taps there's a mirror there opening port uh, opening porthole there and then pretty standard vacuum flush toilet in there so because this is quite set in and this is an open boat they've quite cleverly put in a self-draining scupper so any water that comes in here drops into there and is then drained into the um, hull and pumped out it's also as i said on this one they've got heating on the outside as well as the inside which is really useful we'll follow ourselves around and forwards so you'll notice down there there's a large carbon pole and that is for sunshade for the foredeck area so there's another pole as you can see over the far side down there they then slot into these two poles here one and two and then that means you can effectively have a sunshade over this entire area this forward section actually while we're here let's just quickly do the anchor locker for the sake of it so there you go massive anchor locker lovely stainless steel chain matched up to that stainless anchor you can chuck some fenders in there and some lines keep them out of the way pop up cleats again all the way around i just pop down here turn around quickly you'll see that there's this big dining area forward which as we've pointed out you can cover for sun protection if you want to there is also this table here which is electronically high and low so you can drop this table down and again infill this whole area here how it's a vast sunbathing area and there's a little waterproof hatch in there so you for a bit of additional storage forward and you'll also have noticed that there's a little riding seat here so you can sit here either in the sun or as the boat's going along and they get some wind in your hair up top you can see there's a radar an enclosed array Garmin there so yeah there you go we will have a quick peek at the engines just got to wait for the lovely chap to clear the table for us and we'll have a look in the engine bay So there you go, that is a serious bit of engine access. The entire aft sun lounger area with fridges goes up on these two fantastically powerful rams. And that gives you really good access to these Volvo Penta D4 320s. So it gives you access to the whole engine bay really. So if you're servicing them, it's really easy to get in here. I'm just gonna drop down into this checker plate for a sec. Cause there's a couple of nifty things around here. Fire suppression system down there obviously your batteries and master switches over there but there's also quite a clever little dumping glory hole down here as you can see where a boat shows all the canopies are in there and this particular one the customers fitted an entire zip around canopy system which is why there's so many so much canvas stuff in there second battery over there and then you've got your immersion heater over there water calorifier and then around the back here you can see there's the hydraulic rams and pumps for the out drives so yeah, really, really great access to this engine bay. So there you go, that is the Fjord 38 open. So there you go, thank you very much to the guys from Inspiration Marine for letting us have a look around this rather lovely Fjord 38 open. Do hope you've enjoyed the tour. Do please like and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you next time round.